I always thought people were so cute when they have the little cheeks and they're like rosy, but mine are pretty plain. If I was going to change one feature about my face, I would say that I would want fuller lips. I'm definitely a person that looks tired when I'm tired, and when people say that, I immediately am like, oh man. I'm starting to already get little crow's feet and stuff, which like my mom has, so yeah. I'm a forensic artist. I was trained at the FBI Academy in 1993 in composite art. Worked for the San Jose Police Department as the police artist from 1995 to 2011. We didn't really know what we were doing, so that was nerve wracking for everyone. I showed up to a place I'd never been and walked into this big warehouse. And at the very end, there was a guy with his back to me with a drafting board. I had a curtain separating me so that I don't see him. Uh, we'll begin. First of all, tell me about your hair. Uh, brown, long, I guess a little bit past my shoulders. Your jaw? My mom told me I had a big jaw. Yeah, they're brown eyebrows, dark brown eyebrows. Okay. I didn't know what he was doing, but then I could tell after several questions that he was drawing me. Tell me about your chin. I guess I haven't really compared it to anyone else's chin, but um, especially when like I smile, I just feel like it kind of protrudes a little bit. Hmm. What would be your most prominent feature? I kind of have a fat, rounder face. The older I've gotten, the more freckles I've gotten. You sort of realize, oh man, now I, I have to talk about myself and, and, and think about my looks. I'm 40, so I'm starting to get a little bit of the crow's feet thing going on. Um. Once I get a sketch, I say thank you very much, and then they leave. I don't see them. I still didn't know. All I had been told before the sketch was to get friendly with this other woman, Chloe. Today I'm going to ask you some questions about a person you met earlier, and I'm going to ask you some general questions about their face. She was thin, so you could see her cheekbones. And her chin was a nice, thin chin. Mm. The women were really critical about moles or scars or things like that. And yet, they were describing just a normal, beautiful person. She had nice eyes. They lit up when she spoke and were very expressive. The length of the nose, what is that like? A short. Short. Yeah, cute nose. Her face was fairly thin. She had blue eyes, very nice blue eyes. Okay. So here we are. Hmm. So this is your self-described image? And then somebody else described you and I did this sketch. This whole thing about having dark circles and crow's feet around my eyes and that was not part of the sketch at all that the stranger did. The stranger's was a little more like gentle. That's pretty different. She looks closed off and fatter. She just looks kind of shut down. Looks sadder, too. The second one is more beautiful. You think they're catching more of that from you? Yeah. 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 She looks more open and um, friendly and a long way in how I see myself, but I think I still have oh, some way to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
have some work to do on myself. Do you think you're more beautiful than you say? Yeah. Yeah. Chloe's perception was so, so clearly different. Her picture looked like somebody I thought I would want to talk to and be friends with, like a happy, light, much younger, much brighter person. It's troubling. I should be more grateful of my natural beauty. It impacts the choices and the friends that we make, the jobs we apply for, how we treat our children. It impacts everything. It couldn't be more critical to your happiness. Our self-perceptions are generally kind of harsh and unbecoming when really that's not how the world sees us. We spend a lot of time as women analyzing and trying to fix the things that aren't quite right, and we should spend more time appreciating the things that we do like.